in the beginning of the 2000s, when the race of giant automakers reached their highest point, it seemed quite pointless for a new player to join in, since there was a fear of being devoured by all the automotive monsters. Nevertheless, Tesla, as an independent automaker, decides to join the game, which would turn the automotive world upside down with its totally new vision. Tesla, led by Elon Musk, presented a master plan, according to which the company had a mission to create fully autonomous EVs with affordable price tags, as well as energy storage products using sustainable energy sources. To fulfill the plan, Tesla introduced awesome models following each other. Each of these vehicles completely changed the idea of how a modern car should be designed. Since its first days, the company has forced other car manufacturers to go deep into electric and autonomous technologies while staying ahead of this disruptive process. Tesla is also actively working on producing its own battery cells. It's not surprising that many enthusiasts around the world are waiting for new amazing solutions from Tesla, which already operates not only as a car manufacturer, but, for example, as a global energy company. Thus, while the automotive world is trying to adapt to new realities, Elon Musk seems purposefully moving towards his goals. Today, we will talk about some of Tesla's most promising projects, which can become a reality in just one or two years. Years ago, Tesla already started to install a full self-driving computer chip in all its vehicles, giving the owners an access to an upcoming self-driving ride-sharing network called a robo-taxi network. The company aims at achieving the fifth level of autonomy by developing its own hardware and software technologies to this end. Elon Musk evaluates the value of the completed version of the full self-driving package at over $100,000 in case the automaker achieves the actual self-driving capability. Due to that, Elon claims that Tesla vehicles are now appreciating assets and the FSD price will continue to rise consequently. So, the FSD package, which now costs $8,000, could provide owners significant revenue. In addition to that, robo-taxi will inevitably reduce the taxi fare. Today, the average cost of a taxi ride in the US is about $2.5 per mile, which, thanks to robo-taxi, could become less than $0.2 per mile, including all consumables. In terms of equipment, Tesla has refused expensive LiDARs in favor of cameras and sensors. Elon believes in the power of computer vision technologies backed by serious developments in the field of artificial intelligence. Which makes sense, because bad weather conditions, as well as the LiDAR signals from the other surrounding vehicles, could create obstacles for LiDAR to see the world, as its only deep learning-based camera solutions with the help of radars have the potential to perceive the world almost perfectly. Besides, a variety of driving situations and scenarios are required so the AI models can learn from them to become ready for driverless journeys. Tesla has a lot of experience, as their vehicles on autopilot have already covered golden billions of miles, which is significantly more than Waymo, which comes second with 20 million miles. This is possibly due to the fact that Tesla does not have to spend billions of dollars on testing its autonomous technology. Though the Alphabet subsidiary has announced its partnership with Volvo to build a new self-driving electric vehicle for hands-off ride-hailing service, which will increase the miles covered with LiDAR technology. We have already told how Tesla is pushing his work in the battery technology to get a unit designed for 1 million miles of operation. This process, indeed, has started since the first Tesla vehicles appeared on the roads. Over time, the battery efficiency has been significantly improved, providing a much longer driving range with a cheaper price. But it's just the beginning. Tesla has started to patent some battery chemistry technology to produce new cells in volume for its upcoming EVs and stationary energy storage products. The main goal is for the battery to be able to cycle more than 4,000 times, to have higher energy density and be cost-effective to produce. According to Elon Musk, the company's best-selling Model 3 is designed for a million-mile life, but the battery modules last 500,000 miles or cycle 1,500 times. 
The significant difference between cycling times could become possible thanks to the newly patented single crystal nickel cobalt aluminium electrodes. The single crystal cathode is made of larger single crystals that all face the same way, thanks to which the battery will suffer less degradation. With the right electrolyte solution, the novel cathode technology will enable a battery to cycle 4,000 times, and even better, the larger single crystals can last for thousands of cycles with the right coatings and additives. As says Jeff Dahn, the head of the Tesla battery research team, the cells of this type should be able to power an electric vehicle for over 1.6 million kilometers or 1 million miles and last at least two decades in grid energy storage. Besides, a single crystal cathode is scalable in terms of chemistry used and leaves room for use of a cobalt-free chemistry, which would potentially reduce the cost of making battery cells as well as make the battery producing process less harmful for the environment. The second focus of interest for Tesla is the hybrid battery cell technology. The idea is to replace the graphite anode in conventional lithium-ion cells with lithium metal to create all-electric cars with a range extender. In practice, such electric vehicles with range extender, for example the BMW i3 Rex, use a small gasoline combustion engine to generate extra power for more range. But this new method could significantly increase energy density for a pure electric car. However, lithium metal anodes suffer from rapid capacity loss and short cell lifetime. And in order to develop a high energy density cell with longer lifetime, the researchers led by Jeff Dahn offer a unique combination of lithium ion and lithium metal cells, which is achieved by reversibly placing lithium metal on graphite with an optimized dual salt electrolyte. With that hybrid technology, the battery overall will have more than 20% energy density which will not only enable longer driving ranges, but will also decrease the cost of electric vehicles. Another patent filed by Tesla is called Cell with a Tabless Electrode, which, as Elon Musk describes, is way more important than it sounds. The idea is to get rid of cathode and anode tabs in the current cylindrical battery cells. This will prevent current from compulsorily traveling through these tabs in order to reach connectors on the outside of the battery cell. As a result, the ohmic resistance and current deviation will be reduced, which will help escape from unwanted chemical reactions that cut the cell's lifetime and could lead to faster charging rates. So, removing tabs will not only significantly improve the overall electrochemical process and cell's lifetime, but will also simplify the manufacturing challenges and reduce additional costs. All these steps can lead to the creation of a much higher density battery with a longer lasting capability, which, in its turn, could lead to the launch of new, much more affordable cars. And why not EV tolls? Thanks to the acquisition of Maxwell Technologies that offer dry electrodes for the batteries with the perspective to achieve an energy density of more than 500 watt-hours per kilogram in the current decade, the idea of an EV toll is quite workable. Tesla has great prospects relating to their activity in China. No secret, today China is and will remain in the future one of the most attractive markets for every ambitious manufacturer. At the event, Musk announced that Tesla had plans to create a design and engineering center to design an original car in China for worldwide consumption, which could be the most affordable Tesla in the world. It took only a couple of days after this announcement, and the official render of something that looks like a concept of the future subcompact Tesla appeared on the web. Some call this future vehicle the Model 2, though it could be something really different from the company's current model range. Thanks to the upcoming advancements in battery technology, the vehicle will probably have a decent driving range at a relatively low price tag. The base version is expected to be available for $10,000 to $15,000 cheaper than the comparable Model 3. In addition to China, the automaker intends to open a product design center in Europe alongside with its Gigafactory 4 project in Berlin. Elon Musk says that Tesla might design and engineer a small electric hatchback in Germany, which might be a real game-changer in the continent considering the high government incentives of up to $10,000 in Europe. 
In the end, EVs can not only reduce the total carbon footprint, but also prevent poisonous gases from entering the atmosphere, which could save millions of lives. Tesla is not only working on the vehicle technologies, but is also positioning itself as an energy company. Last year, Elon Musk said that the energy division of the company, Tesla Energy, is going to become a distributed global utility, and it could even outgrow its automotive business. The company actively propels its auto bidder project, which aims to totally change the energy consumption model itself. AutoBidder is a real-time trading and control platform which is used to better and more directly monetize energy storage assets, like Tesla's Powerpacks, Powerwalls, and Megapacks. It also creates an opportunity for the vehicles to be connected directly to the grid, which could become an optimal variant thanks to the expected million-mile battery with higher energy density. This will provide drivers with an extra income which, in addition to RoboTaxi's revenue, could pay the vehicle's acquisition and other costs by itself. Tesla, that is currently using AutoBidder in Australia and in the US, is also entering the European energy market, with its AutoBidder platform to monetize energy storage products in that continent as well. The new platform not only works with Tesla products, but is also compatible with any type of energy storage. This will especially increase the demand and significance of storing energy from renewable sources, which, in its turn, could make the light battery-powered products that store solar energy more attractive and, as a result, create guarantees for the clean environment. For example, a new Tesla Megapack project has been commissioned in the UK, which uses 15 megawatt-hour lithium-ion batteries, enabling utility-scale energy storage. The battery system is going to operate using Tesla's new cutting-edge AutoBidder AI system. Tesla was and remains as well one of the leading automakers, at least when it comes to the radical concepts that shape the future of the automotive world. The company's portfolio consists of a wide range of different vehicles, from super-fast sport vehicles like the Roadster, to super-efficient heavy trucks, like the promised Semi. After the futuristic Cybertruck was presented last year, there have been only a few automotive segments remaining where a Tesla vehicle can't be found. But thanks to a new project from Elon Musk's boring company, an idea of an electric passenger bus or van from Tesla becomes tangible. The boring company that's strictly linked with Tesla aims to use underground tunnels to link some important points through California and Nevada. At the same time, the company received permission to dig a high-speed tunnel linking Rancho Cucamonga with Ontario International Airport as a much more affordable alternative to the conventional above-ground rail projects. Known as the Ontario Airport Loop, this project will cost up to $60 million, which is incomparably lower than the cost of any rail system. The tunnel will be 2.8 miles in length and 14 feet in diameter. Special electric vehicles with rubber tires are expected to travel across the tunnel. Each ride could take up to 120 seconds and is going to carry passengers to and from the airport at 127 miles per hour. There are rumors that Tesla works on developing a new electric van that can seat up to 12 people and their luggage with an ability to serve more than 10 million people per year. Although there is still no detailed data on this project, we have the right to expect something revolutionary, at least in terms of design and engineering. Right after successful testing of the electric minibuses in the San Bernardino Tunnel, it's not excluded Tesla will come to the surface to challenge the leading manufacturers of light commercial vehicles. And knowing Musk's approaches to such challenging projects, it might become a reality even sooner than we might expect. These were the five most promising Tesla projects that are going to significantly improve our everyday lives. Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos.